Sul Sul, we now fratege the Sims. When last we left off, Jim's grades at school are only improving, which is a good upward trend. Eventually, he'll get to the highest grade that he can get to, and then he'll have the chance of bringing home money from the school that was awarded to him for his good grades. Since school doesn't have the promotion aspect the adults can do, having the small reward for having consistently good grades is a nice little thing that incentivizes you to make sure that the kids have a persistently good mood, otherwise you just keep them sort of middle of the road and you wouldn't worry about it. Meanwhile, on the other side of the road, Danielle is getting ready to go back to Studio Town, and this time, she's going to make a good impression. Let's pretend that the last time she went there didn't happen, shall we? No? Nobody's going to pretend that? Oh well, this time, we'll just do that much better. It is currently 8.55 in the morning, and Samuel is having a shower. Danielle is currently playing the piano, and she's soon going to be going to Studio Town, as soon as she's dealt with fun, hygiene, and bladder. Samuel needs to take care of these first because he's going to be going to work soon, and he needs to make sure that he's in as good a mood as possible. Speaking of work, it's time for him to go to it. He'll be getting out of the shower in a moment and going straight there. And that'll be Danielle's cue to go and have a shower herself and use the toilet. In fact, going to do that now is a good idea. The gardener is here right now. She'll tend to all of the plants, which is good because we don't have the time to tend to them ourselves. Samuel is all dressed up ready for work. And the maid will take care of all of these uh, old papers and leaflets. Time for you to take care of those needs, Danielle, as your mood is going to have to be really good if you're going to impress people. Having a good mood is important, I think, for the fame career, because you make a better impression with a better mood. That is only a theory, I'm not entirely sure if that's the case. Ladder has been taken care of, next is hygiene, and then you're going to go to Studio Town, and you're going to do a far better job than before. Just like with Samuel, I don't think you should be singing in the shower either. This does not bode well for you doing well in Studio Town by singing. But we're going to try anyway. You have three points of creativity. There's a high chance that you'll do quite well. And there is the maid. Come to see what needs to be taken care of. And she'll be taking care of that toilet first, I believe. There we go. There's no time like the present, Danielle. Time for you to go and go to Studio Town, while the gardener phases through solid matter. I didn't know gardeners had that capability. Also, she works at Sim City, if you didn't notice there. We shall call that free cab and head to Studio Town. It is good that that cab is free. Because if you didn't have the capability to get there because you run out of money, it would be bad if the game charged you for it. We're going to just wait out here. Our mood is exemplary. It's a little less exemplary now. How is your hunger? Your hunger is fine, because uh, you have plenty of food. Melisande is running out into the road recklessly. And we're going to head to Studio Town. And the game saves. It saves every single time. It's something you have to keep in mind that uh, even if something went wrong and you decided, oh, I don't want that to happen while you're in Studio Town, it will still bring you back to the lot after the time that you left. And that is a little bit of wasted time. We're going to go back to here, and we're going to try and use that karaoke machine once more. Hopefully we're going to do better this time, otherwise it's back home to get even more skills. And our mood is pretty exemplary. Alright, straight over here, we're going to sing some country. And we're going to rock that stage. We're going to do the best we possibly can, and already things are starting to go down. It's curious that as soon as you enter a lot, all these bars go dramatically up or down. It's like, you're gaining tons of comfort. And Sybil has already made it to the stage before us. Are you going to do well, Sybil? Let's find out. She's taking some deep breaths. All right. Let's see what you do. She's pretty good. She's very good. If you can do half as well as she can, Danielle, you'll do just fine. That is still very dangerous. You really shouldn't be doing that. You could fall. You could hurt yourself. 
And this floor is entirely tiled. This bit's carpet, but the rest of it's tiled. She's performing to a crowd of one, but as long as that one is impressed, you have done well. Well done, Sybil. Not bad. And now it is your turn, Danielle. It is time for you to give the show of your life. One person may be watching, but pretend there are thousands there. You are nervous. <coughs> and you're coughing. <coughs> oh, she's doing well this time. Much better than before. She doesn't seem to have an opinion either way about uh, Danielle's performance, though. That is much better than last time, though. A vast improvement. Is anyone important watching? It would seem like nobody is. But maybe we can uh, make an impact with that performance? Maybe? How did it go? The answer is... Congratulations, Danielle Smith! Due to your recent success in Studio Town, we are upgrading your standing on our star charts. You've gained a star level. We are now on the first stepping stone. Let's have a look at the description of this, shall we? Pause the game first. Most dogs in Studio Town get treated better than this, and your earning power is about as exciting as your lowly star power. Channel your bitterness and frustration into your work, so someday you'll be on top. We need to find that thing there. I believe that is the photo shoot. Is there one here? I get the feeling there isn't one here. Nope, there most certainly is not. So you know what that means? That means that we're leaving. We're going to call the cab, and we're going to go somewhere else. The important thing about this level is that we're actually going to earn money at this level. And there is a traffic jam here, as Natasha is blocking that limousine. And Lana there is writing down, Danielle, maybe going somewhere. And try not to run over Avril Lavigne, that would be bad. There we go. Danielle is going to uh, call a cab, and there is definitely a traffic jam going on here. You really need to get out of the road, Avril Lavigne. There are a lot of cars waiting for you to get out of the road. She'll do so eventually. Hopefully, anyway. Otherwise, this is going to cause a minor... Uh, there we go! Much better. We would like a vehicle to be sent to pick us up. And unfortunately, another traffic jam has happened. This might take a while. Aha! She has finally left the road! Only the paparazzi could cause an obstruction now! And we're just going to wait, and there is a white limousine! So there is a black limousine, a white one, and the pink one! I don't remember which one you get when you uh, get a lot higher in the fame profession. Alright, there is your ride! You're going to uh, get in this, and you're going to try and find somewhere where you can uh, improve your fame! Or at least find out what we need to improve your fame. Now, where was the first place we went to? It won't be this one. And it's most... Ah! There it is! We found it! Buckingham Galleries. Fine art and fashion, pillaged from the far corners of SimCity, and housed on site at Mr. Buckingham's private design studio. Anyone can be an artist, said Buckingham. I'm living proof! Well, off we go! Time to see what you need for this level of your career. I get the feeling with the two levels of charisma we have, we might be partway there already. Alright, what we want to do is we want to model... Winter Wear. There we go! I think now is the perfect time to model Winter Wear. In the middle of Sim... Okay, I don't know what season it is, because it's never really clear what season it is in The Sims 1. It is the season it always is. That is to say, it's not really that cold. It's never cold in The Sims, unless you go to the uh, cold location in The Sims Holiday locations. So we're going to try and model for winter wear. Let's see how well this does. Selma Snapshot is going to take pictures of us. Are we any good at it, is the question. That is quite a pose you're pulling there. Not quite sure it's going to impress people. Yeah, I don't think that's impressing anyone. Oh, I... That is not the pose you really want to... Nope, that's not what they want. That is not what they want. I asked the agency to send me talent, but instead you showed up. I might be able to use you for a print ad. 
Ah, okay. So we need to have a print ad instead. I think we punched a little bit above our weight there. Let's try a print ad. This might go a lot better. There we go. Fingers crossed, anyway. There we are! We're doing a sort of holiday print ad. That definitely is not a holiday ad for Spunty Manor. There would have to be a... Okay. Is this going well? I don't know. Ah, it does seem like it's going well. There is a product that awfully looks... That looks a lot like a Sims box. I think that went very well. Excellent. Nice work. I think I'll pick up a copy myself today. We gained some plus there. And we got 60 simoleons. Marvellous. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do that again. That really did look like a copy of The Sims. Were we advertising a copy of The Sims in The Sims? That would be surprisingly meta. We'll do another one of these. I don't know how many you need to do before you gain another level. You have to keep sort of doing more of each level. And eventually you accumulate enough of the star power, in a sense, to uh, gain... Yep, that definitely is a copy of The Sims. To gain enough of a amount to gain a promotion. We are doing rather well with that. There we go. And we gain another 60 simoleons. We could keep doing this for a while. And you know what? We are going to keep doing this for a while. I don't know how many times we're going to need to do this, but we will keep doing so. It's a very quick way of earning a fair amount of money, as you can see. Just doing this three times earns more money than the starting level of the uh, normal jobs. It does require you to be more hands-on with your uh, interactions. <laughs> But for the amount of money you're earning, it is worth it. Maybe we'll manage to get one whole star of fame, as we keep trying to sell The Sims to Sims. Do they play The Sims? What do they call it? That is a question for the ages. Indeed, you will pick up a copy, and we keep gaining pluses. But is this going to make a difference? Who knows? So what we need to do, of course, is we need to do it again. Just keep making more print ads, Danielle. Keep making more money. Selma Snapshot is always here, no matter what time of day it is. And your mood is still pretty decent. Let's try again, shall we? We can never make too many adverts for The Sims in The Sims. One more for the road? Hello. She's ready for her snapshots. And away they go. Away they go! Oh, this did not go so well. We need a spokesperson, not a wooden sign. Thanks, but no thanks. Our mood is not good enough. I think it is time for us to go home. But at the very least, we have learnt of where we need to go, and what we need to do to earn money, and also to potentially get another level. And Sybil is here! Sybil is probably going to be doing what we're doing, but a lot better. Maybe Sybil is Danielle's rival! Let's have a look, shall we? What is she currently doing? She is doing exactly the same thing! She is our rival! She's trying to do one better than us, and she's probably going to succeed. And we have Listen About Other from somebody. From uh, you! Maybe we'll actually do that. You are Joanne. Are you Joanne somebody, or Joanne anybody? And there is Aaron, who seems to have come off the set of a hospital drama. At least that's what I hope. And there's Avril Lavigne again! Maybe Avril Lavigne is Danielle's rival! She seems to be everywhere where Danielle is, after all. And that comfort stat is very low. That's okay, we'll sort that in a moment. And it would seem that Joanne and Kirk are busy interacting with each other, <laughs> instead of Danielle interacting with them. But that's okay. It's time for you to go home in a moment. Home sweet home. And even though no time will have passed at home, that is not your carpool. That is your carpool, however. I know it's a taxi, but it's effectively a carpool. There we go. Time for you to go home. That was a pretty successful day. 
We earned about 180 simoleons, and we gained a promotion. The first promotion. We have a lot more work to do if we're going to get anywhere, though. Okay. Melisande is still in the middle of the road. We'll sort that, however. Actually, Melisande will sort that. And you appeared there, which is handy. We want to uh, interact with Melisande, actually. Let's uh, pet Melisande. A few times just to uh, get social up, and then we're really going to have to deal with everything here. We'll have to deal with uh, your bladder, and we'll have to deal with your fun, and then we're going to have to deal with your hunger. It's comfort primarily that's uh, preventing you from doing things, and that fruitcake is still good. I don't think that fruitcake will ever not be good. And Melisande is happy to interact with Danielle. The last time they had any proper interaction, Danielle was a cat. Maybe one more interaction. No, I think that's actually fine, because uh, your social will be pretty high. Then you'll be dealing with bladder, and uh, hygiene can actually be dealt with tomorrow. Fun is something that um, we're going to have to do pretty quickly, because I'm not sure you'll play the piano if your mood is dreadful. You could just uh, deal with fun by reading a book, I suppose. That would deal with comfort as well. Might not be a bad idea, but I think working on your creativity is a really good idea. Also, if you don't go to Studio Town consistently and work on your um, fame, it will deteriorate. Unlike a normal job, you can't just uh, take a day off and then keep going back every other day, at least as far as I know. Eventually, it will start to hurt. You need to constantly work to stay in the limelight, and if you don't, your career will suffer. And that is that taken care of. Yes, indeed, your comfort is really low. It might actually be a good idea for you to read a book instead. Read a book, that's actually a much better plan. Reading a book will help your comfort too, so I think we shall do that instead. It won't improve your creativity, but I think that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to have your needs filled better. That is quite a good book. Samuel most certainly recommends it, because he reads that one all the time. And we're going to uh, fast forward time a bit because, uh, let's see, yep, plenty of food there, so we can just fast forward time for a small amount. A couple of hours until your fun is nearly at maximum. And look at that comfort. Comfort is far better. Maybe you could have a meal. Have some fruitcake. It's still there, after all. And you might as well eat it. And then we could have you work on your charisma or your body. That's what we need to have you work on. I think if you work on your body stat, that will be much better. But that will require you to um, will require you to get something to work on body. For now, I think we'll just have you uh, deal with your hunger and then get a little bit more charisma. There is only one more slice of fruitcake. And you know what? You might as well eat it. Samuel might have eaten it, but you eating it is fine as well. The plate is finally empty. I have no idea how many days that fruitcake just hung around. Get rid of that, and then maybe working on your charisma might be a better idea. There we go. You can cancel that, because there's no point in you going to wash your hands. You'll be dealing with hygiene the next time you get up. And you're keeping the house nice and clean. Which is good, because you really shouldn't be, because you're a slob. Working on charisma, though, is a good thing. I think it's creativity, charisma, and some body that you need in this uh, career. I don't think you need mechanical or cooking. Okay, we'll just uh, advance time a little bit here. Will you get that extra level? You may do. It's going to take you a while, though. Okay, you might not manage it. Your energy might get too low. Also, yep, your energy is too low. Time for you to go to bed, I think. And you're automatically going to bed. In the right bed. Which is quite good. Didn't want to have to direct you to the correct bed. Because Samuel's bed is in his room, and your bed is in your room. So when we come back, folks, Samuel will return back from work. And what will he do with his day? There are a number of things he may do with his day. And uh, there we go. Dave and uh, Yvette are still quite high on the... There you are! Samuel is home. And when we come back, folks, we'll attend to Samuel's needs. Like fun! He definitely needs some fun. And then, who knows what the future will bring? 
apart from Melisande going over to say hello. Might as well have that interaction happen. Don't ignore Melisande, Samuel. She came over to say hello. You should say hello back. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Click, -clap. Click -clap. Dag, dag.